An email from Elon Musk to Tesla staff has been leaked today through electric.co and it looks like he's resorting to some like pretty desperate measures on cutting costs for the company because he's saying that they only have cash for about 10 months. Um, he's talking about $2.2 billion that they have uh, in the bank. Um, not really sure why he's saying that. So let's, let's analyze that. But I'll tell you what it is that he's going to be doing, which is a little bit crazy. But at the same time, I think there are three different ways how Tesla can actually make more money that really has nothing to do with cars. I'll tell you about that as well coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so Elon said a couple of things in that uh, email that are a little bit weird, if you will. He's saying that in 10 months, Tesla is going to run out of cash if they're going to continue going this way. But I beg to differ because one, they just raised more money. So now they don't have just $2.2 billion. They should have about $5 billion if my math is correct. Um, secondly, you know, it looks like they are going back to being profitable, I'm assuming, right? So that should help not spending money. But most importantly, it's kind of weird what he proposed that he is going to do along with his new CFO. And he essentially saying that he himself and the new CFO is going to go line by line on all the expense reports and approve it themselves. I guess um, every line is going to be looked at by the CFO and every 10th line is going to be looked at by Elon. So in addition to everything else that he's doing, he's now going to be basically approving expense reports. Not sure if that's the best way to spend his time, uh, which is very limited. And um, there are quite a few other things that he could be doing. Uh, for example, I would say the biggest problem with the brand would be um, customer service. I mean, I was returning my car uh, yesterday as my lease ended, and they reminded me once one more time as I pulled into the service uh, uh, driveway uh, why I hated the service for the last five years. But I don't want to. I I don't want to go there. The, the 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 news here is that um, I don't know if it's responsible measures or drastic measures, and I'm a little surprised again that he is decided to dedicate so much of his time to do it. I think uh, he is suffering from you know the same kind of issue of not trusting maybe people around him to delegate. And it's kind of weird because the SpaceX, for example, company uh, runs the opposite, right? He trusts uh, everybody around there to do their job and um, doesn't get involved as much. Uh, but here it looks like even with accounting, he doesn't trust. I I, I, I don't know what to, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's, what's happening with that. But I do have uh, uh, three suggestions. If I was to uh, make how they can make more money, I think this is the relatively easy way and, and low investment way how Tesla is not really making money, uh, um, you know, versus what other manufacturers have and energy companies have done. Um, now, I'm going to spare you talking about, you know, ramping up the energy uh, part of the company. I think we all know, and including Elon Musk, that they should really get going on that. But these are kind of a unique ways, I think, uh, that they haven't explored yet. So let's get to them. Before that, of course, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byte. And check out the all new M Byte coming to the US and Europe next year, starting at only $45,000. I invite you guys to get on the reservation list. Uh, first of all, because it's free. Secondly, because it only takes 60 seconds, but most importantly, it's an amazing car that you would definitely want to be a part of just like the rest of us. Go to the description of this video and click on that link to make your reservations. All right, let's talk about three different ways how Tesla can make some extra money. Uh, now, number one is, and this is something that all gas stations do, right? Um, this is the largest uh, supercharger in the US and it's famous not just because they have 40 stalls uh, and not just because you know, um, Eli Burton of My Tesla Adventure has amazing events there, but also because they have an owner's lounge. And, you know, as you know, Tesla owners spend about 10 times as much time uh, as a gas 
uh, um, um, uh, car owner uh, at the gas station next door when they need to refuel on their way to LA or San Francisco, or whatever. So that's a lot of time uh, that uh, that those Tesla owners spend there, and yet there is not much there to buy. There's a little coffee shop, and then they also sell like forty dollar T-shirts, and I guess they move that merchandise. They have some vending machines where there's where where they kind of uh, you know, selling snacks and stuff like that. But if you want to have a meal, and most people do, everybody ends up going down the street. There's Danny's there. There are a few other restaurants and even other gas station convenience stores. One of the gas stations has Subway, and that's where I ate last time I was there, right? So essentially gave money to a gas uh, company while super, you know, supercharging the, the electric car. I think this is where Tesla can actually turn things around. <clears throat> they have so much time. Uh, uh, for these owners to to spend there, that they must sell them something. The, how about I mean, how about a meal first of all? And I know you have to you know build these out, and you need to you know get the license to. to but but this is just simple stuff. This is not a that big of a deal. Um, there's also so many different things to that people would buy, right? Like think about when you go to the gas station, um, and and if you still do, uh, what are the all little things you can buy from lottery tickets? to little keychains, to milk, right? So, and, and and by the way, the gas stations don't make that much money on selling gas. The margins are pretty thin. Their bread and butter is the bread and butter <laughs> that they sell at the convenience stores there. They make a lot of money. And I feel like Tesla not only should do the same because essentially what they do is they own refueling stations, but also they have so much more time that uh, these the Tesla owners spend there. So if they put a lot, and I don't think it's that much of an investment. I think each area where uh, superchargers are located, there there's you know uh, uh, lots and lots of real estate for uh, for convenience store to be located and and lease the space, uh, lots of retail space around it. A lot of times there's a shopping mall, so there's definitely a way to do it. And these would be profitable, right? These got to be really profitable because Tesla owners. Uh, uh, will be going there. And as you know, there's a Tesla community, the sense of community of Tesla owners hanging out and so forth. And so that's number one. Now, number two is, and this is very simple, work with the social media influencers. There's a few of them here. I got to tell you, Tesla, I know Tesla doesn't spend any money on marketing. And you know what? Maybe it's time they do. But they would also they don't do, they don't really, unlike other brands, and at this point I've been around long enough and work with many other brands, um, they don't work with uh, influencers at all. There are a couple of influencers like Casey Neistat and um, um, Dan from What's Inside where they do invite them and do give them press releases. But the biggest Tesla, and those are not Tesla fan channels, right? They're big, but no Tesla fan channels. The fan channels are Now You Know, Ben from Teslanomics, Kim from Like Tesla. None of those channels are ever get invited the way, for example, when I get invited to other events from Audi and Kia and Mercedes and so forth. Um, travel is not being paid. Everybody's paying out of their own pocket. Um, the invitation doesn't come out to any of us as press. We essentially only go there because we had to sell enough cars through the referral program to be there. Um, and so nobody gets press passes. And all of us, it, definitely them, should get the press passes. There's absolutely no reason not to. Um, and uh, of course, give us access. You know, let us interview. Let us interview Elon. Let us interview Hans. Let us let us give some extra access. Get, get all of these people more excited. Help them, uh, you know, uh, make money as influencers uh, uh, by providing excitement content and and it doesn't even cost you anything um, so Tesla needs to work with influencers more because this is simply where the sales are you know the the sales model for Tesla has not changed it came from the very beginning from people like me who bought Tesla Model S in 2012 we were so excited we were running around telling everybody who would listen the, 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 the sales model is the same except for now they have so many more influencers and YouTubers that have now pretty significant followings that they're essentially not using they can definitely leverage more they can offer some maybe even discounts or some perks to those audiences they don't do any of it but as a matter of fact the toughest brand I ever had to deal with as far as just uh, uh, um, uh, as their press and media people is Tesla. They're essentially brutal. And it's not just me. I know quite a few other journalists have had a really hard time working with them. And I think that should change because that will sell them many, many more cars. And the last one, I, I can't believe that hasn't happened yet, but you know, an app store. 
you know, just like Apple or Google and Amazon, Tesla has the environment for it. Now, of course, don't allow um, apps that will control the car, have access to the uh, the self-driving features or none of that. And, you know, essentially what you create is a call a sandbox in the software development terms where, you know, apps will reside on your uh, on, on in a certain area of the car software and never have access to any of the big features. Um, now, obviously things can get hacked just like without the apps they can get hacked, um, but let people develop apps. There's so many amazing apps. Everybody's just sitting around ready to develop. And of course, Tesla would collect the fee from those apps being sold, the services being sold and so forth. And it doesn't really have that much uh, uh, effort on a, on a, on a part of of Tesla, and I think this is the, another revenue stream that they're missing out on. And of course, you know, you, they can have their own apps uh, like music streaming apps and and many others. And even when Spotify and Pandora would be selling services through Tesla, they can still pocket a lot of that money. Uh, and I don't think we would really mind as long as it's a very easy and nice uh, integration into the brand. So those are my ideas of how can Tesla not just be cutting down on on their expenses with Elon Musk you know sitting there and approving you know uh, 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 Burger King receipts there and and airplane ticket receipts uh, but also some income that they can uh, get relatively easily to boost their revenues in, in, in pretty good ways, um, I would suggest. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, uh, definitely. Oh, don't forget to get on our uh, VIP list. This one is getting really exciting. Not only we're delivering exclusive stories every week to you guys for free, of course. Now they're deals of the month. And this deal of the month is pretty popular because this is the most sold um, um, item on Avanex, one of our sponsors. Um, for Tesla Model 3 owners, as you can see, this one's lighted T. Uh, it's pretty cool. Now, they have a $50 off deal right now, but if you subscribe to our newsletter, and I think it's gonna come out tomorrow, uh, the next one, we'll be sending you a discount code for another $50. So essentially, you get $100 off of uh, this lighted T, and we'll have more deals in the future. So make sure you put yourself down on our mailing list on our VIP list, it's free and you actually get to make money that way or save money at the very least when you subscribe. All right, guys, looking forward to your comments and maybe some ideas. Who knows? Other than that, have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. And of course, remember to stay charged.